In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the next level in order of operations, or bed must too. Yeah, same idea, but now the problems involve both exponents and brackets. Let's get at it. Example 1, 3 plus 2 times 5 minus 2 in brackets squared. So we think bed must. Brackets? Well, sure, in this case, we do have brackets. 5 minus 2 is 3. So our next line, 3 plus 2 times 3 squared now. So on to the next one, exponents. Well, yeah, we have 3 squared, so we can do that. Next line, 3 plus 2 times now 9. And we have division and multiplication. Well, there's the 2 times 9 to look after, so we multiply those. And our next line, 3 plus 18 now, and that's our addition and subtraction, so we can put those together for a final answer of 21. Second example, slightly more challenging. 3 minus 1, all in brackets, squared, plus 5 minus 3 over 2. So we start off with brackets. Well, we have 3 minus 1 clearly in brackets. So we can subtract that for a 2 squared. But we also note that we have a fraction here. And when we have something that needs to be cleaned up in the numerator or the denominator of a fraction, we can treat that as though it were in brackets. So our 5 minus 3 can be treated as part of our bracket step. And 5 minus 3 is 2, and so we have 2 over 2. In our next step, we get to exponents. Well, we have the 2 squared, and so that becomes 4, and we're still left with our 2 over 2 here. Next step, division and multiplication. Our 2 over 2 is a division, so we can do that. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and we're left with 4 plus 1. In our last step, we have addition and subtraction, so we can bring those together, and 4 plus 1 for a final answer of 5. Example number three, a different kind of challenging this time. Three times in brackets six minus in another set of brackets five minus one, and then we close those brackets in the other brackets plus two. So we have two sets of brackets, and we'll point out that sometimes people, when they use one set of brackets as the curved brackets, they find that it's easier to help you keep track if they use the outer set of brackets as square brackets. They don't really have any different meaning. It's just to help you keep track. Now, if we start off with our bedmas with brackets, one thing we can note is that we always start with the innermost set of brackets. So in this case, the innermost set of brackets is the 5 minus 1. So our first step of dealing with brackets is to clean up the 5 minus 1 is 4. So everything else remains the same. Now, we're on our second step of the B for brackets. That is to clean up the outermost set of brackets, 6 minus 4. So we do the 6 minus 4 is 2, and now we're done with the bracket step. We look at exponents. We don't have any exponents in this case, so we can move on. Division and multiplication. Well, now we have a 3 times 2, so we can multiply those to get 6, and we're still left with our plus 2 at the end. Now in our last step, addition and subtraction, we can bring the 6 and 2 together for a final answer of 8. In this tutorial, we took on some more challenging order of operations problems. We found that the acronym BEDMAS still worked great for even the most challenging ones. Given that, we learned a couple little tricks when it comes to the bracket step. If we have a fraction with some calculation to do in the numerator or the denominator, we can treat this as being in brackets. We do this calculation before we do the division indicated as a fraction. Also, if we have multiple sets of brackets, we always start with the innermost set of brackets and work outwards. Sometimes people are nice and use square brackets to help us keep track of the outer brackets, but they're still just brackets.